Hi, I'm Mark Polk with RV Education 101. I get asked how much air pressure RV tires should be inflated to a lot, and it's no wonder. RV tire inflation is confusing. First, the RV comes equipped with a federal certification label and tire information placard that specifies the cold inflation pressure for the tires. And if you look on the tire itself, there's a maximum cold inflation pressure for the tires. So which one's right? Let's take a look. Here's what you need to know. RVs come with a specified cargo carrying capacity, which is the amount of weight that can be added before you exceed the vehicle's gross vehicle weight rating. You never want to exceed any weight ratings. The tires on the RV need to be capable of supporting the RV's weight if you load it to the full gross vehicle weight rating. It's important to remember that the amount of air in a tire is what provides the tire with its load carrying capacity. The cold inflation pressure listed on the certification and tire labels is based on the tire supporting the RV's load limits or gross vehicle weight rating. That explains the tire inflation pressure posted on the labels. Now let's look at the tire itself. When a tire manufacturer builds a tire, they don't know what type of vehicle the tire will be used on, so they list the maximum tire inflation pressure for the tire on the tire sidewall. This is the maximum amount of air pressure the tire can ever be inflated to. Here's where things get a little complicated. When you load your cargo and water in the RV, it can change the recommended cold tire inflation pressure that's listed on the labels and placards. But the only way to determine actual loads is to weigh the RV, and for accurate weighing information, it should include weighing it by individual tire position. After you know the actual load on the tires, you can go to the tire manufacturer load and inflation tables and locate the correct tire inflation for the tires based on actual loads. But always remember, you cannot exceed the maximum inflation pressure listed on the tire sidewall. The term cold inflation pressure means to check the tire inflation before moving the RV more than one mile. When tires get hot, the inflation pressure rises and readings won't be accurate. Another tip is to check your tire inflation at least monthly and prior to taking an RV trip. Tires lose air when they sit in storage, and if it's been a while since you checked the inflation pressure, they could be seriously underinflated. I hope this clears up some of the confusion with RV tires. To learn more about your RV, visit www.rveducation101.com. Happy camping.